Well, the big blue building soaring on the Las Vegas Strip for a long time is coming back to life. Marriott has been announcing on their website that the former Fountain Blue will soon become a JW Marriott within a couple of years. Joe Muller live in the Strip with the changes now expected. Hi, Joe. Hey there, Brian. Well, whether you're walking on the strip or you're driving around town, it's hard to miss the giant blue building you see behind us here. Uh, come 2023, this the north end of the strip here will really be bustling. You have the brand new convention center right next door uh, to that building, and then just across the street from us here, you also have Resorts World, with which also just opened. I love Vegas. I think it's pretty sad. For years, the big blue building, also known as the Fountain Blue, has remained vacant. Ghostly. Well, we were just talking about it as we walked by, and it looks kind of rusty and old. I think it's a big eyesore. It was supposed to open in 2009, but instead went bankrupt that year, the result of the financial crisis. I'm so curious as to find out what it really is going to end up being. The property had different owners over the years and different names. The most recent, the Drew. Now, according to the Marriott, the operators will be JW Marriott, featuring 3,700 rooms, a casino, and a bridge to the new convention center. The new ownership has um, the capacity with their financial partners to actually put this together this time. Commercial real estate agent Mike Mixer is optimistic. JW Marriott's a top tier brand. They're, I think they're going to bring the addition, which is another higher end uh, brand within the Marriott chain. Following the opening of Resorts World and chatter of other potential projects, he says this could draw more people north. And we've got recent news now that uh, perhaps the A's baseball organization might be looking at the uh, Phil Ruffin property, which is adjacent to Circus Circus. Um, and if uh, Jackie Robinson puts together his All Nets um, resort, uh, basketball arena. People say a well known brand could be good. I have points I can use. <laughs> Now back out here live, the expected completion date on this is the end of uh, 2023. We also did reach out to Marriott and other parties involved to find out when construction might start up again in this building, but we have yet to hear back. We're reporting live on the Las Vegas Strip. Joe Muller, 8 News Now.